Is there anyone here that would like to speak? I have Susan Hansen. Please come forward. You have three minutes. I'm here to object to the $34 million request from the Board of Elections for new es and all-in-one voting machines. But first, let me clarify, this is not in any way a derogatory comment aimed at the BOE. I believe they are doing the best they can under the circumstances. I watched the presentation they gave to the Joint Committee on May 30th, and this was my takeaway. The BOE is recommending $34 million to purchase new machines because one, the existing machines have been in use beyond their expected lifespan. Two, the machines have technical issues and need to be replaced. Three, this covers the need for a period spanning three years, 2025 through 2027. Four, the choices are limited to two machines based on state guidelines and the size and scope of Suffolk County. Five, the BOE needs to submit this request for $34 million to demonstrate the costs when applying for New York State grant money. My concerns are as follows. One, is this really in the best interest of the citizens of Suffolk County? The cost is $34 million. That's a lot of money. Could this maybe result in a tax increase? I don't know anyone who is in favor of that. And there is no guarantee of grant money. And even if there was, where does that money come from? Ultimately, us. Number two, I believe there are many people who are in favor of eliminating election machines altogether. In fact, they are in favor of paper ballots, hand counting, same day voting with ID. Hopefully we can explore that alternative sometime soon. Number three, has the Board of Elections or the legislator had any presentations from citizen advocacy groups? Yes, you grant three minutes for public comments, but that hardly seems adequate and fair. Their voice needs to be given the same time and consideration as provided to vendors and lobbyists. My suggestion is as follows. One, the BOE and legislature should meet with and address the concerns of citizen advocacy advocacy groups. Two, alternatives to this $34 million proposal needs to be taken seriously. Three, at the very least, Suffolk County should consider a lease agreement that avoids payment in full with options to terminate. Suffolk County, um, the technology is changing rapidly and making a three-year commitment in these fluid and changing times is too risky and not worth the projected cost savings. Oh, and by the way, we don't have the money. Roy Reynolds. Okay, uh, boy, it's great being 10 minutes from my house. It's good yeah. driving the hop. You guys wouldn't know about that though, would you? No. no. <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, I just found out about this uh, and I, I just wanted to, um, to, to make sure that is clear in my mind because um, we've been told that the, um, you haven't really decided what machines they're going to be buying yet, all right? And um, I noticed somebody had shown me a copy of a page out of the budget, and it was item, uh, I think, 1451, which specifically mentioned es and &S machines, okay? And um, I was hoping that would be taken out, taken out of the budget because we really don't know what machines they're going to buy. At least that's what we've been told. So why would you actually put in a specific machine into the budget? Okay, mentioning that machine. So um, let's see, I made a couple of notes here. Um, okay, so we, we have no objection really to allotting the money for the machines, but like I said, um, we'd like to see the other vendors considered, all right? Now, it's my understanding there's several uh, vendors that have certified machines that could be used. And for some reason, the Board of Elections has chosen the es and &S machine, which has all types of security problems. And that's why we brought the experts in to testify before the committee and the legislature. And these people know what they're talking about, right? And I've been working with them for over two years, okay? So um, I really would appreciate if um, the least we can do, if you can find out, will there be a, um, an RFP for the purchase of machines? We're talk if we're talking 34, $40 million, shouldn't it be some sort of a bidding process and a presentation as to which machine is the best for you. So um, 
Is there any chance of finding out if that's been taken out of the budget, the ES and S specific wording has been taken out? Because we were told that it wouldn't be. So uh, that's a question I have. And um, that should cover the basis, I think. So uh, how do we get those answers to those questions? I mean, you have the budget. How do we get the answer? I, I know you can't answer questions, but we need some direction as to where we can get those answers. We've been told what they're going to do. I couldn't find the budget online. If I could find the budget, I would have looked it up myself to see it was taken out. But I don't know where to find the budget. Finding out at this hearing was an act of, of God, let me tell you. <laughs> Thanks to Sue. Anyway, so uh, that's the story. And uh, please give consideration to not using the ASN machines. They're just, they're a nightmare. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Reynolds.